We're out here. Um, I don't know what today is. It's Friday, but what the date is. Oh, we're moving a little snow. We walked out here. Wagon with our essentials, lunchbox and gas can. I'm working on moving a little bit of snow now. Dad's out there with the B15. Trying to clear out the road. Up here in northern Wisconsin. Winter Wonderland. I'm going to try to clear out the road a little bit more so we can actually drive back to the barn here. Where our goal for the weekend, or whatever, I'm home for a couple weeks here for Christmas. The goal is to disassemble my 612 Alice Chalmers and take part of that back to North Dakota with me when I go back so I can work on rebuilding that over the winter. Got the lights on, aka <laughs> got the barn doors open. There is quite a bit of snow up here. They got dumped on a couple weeks ago, got a good 20 inches of snow. It's settled down a little bit now, but there's a lot of snow out here yet. You guys in the south that never see this white stuff, lucky you. Pretty fortunate out in North Dakota, we don't have much of it either at this point, just enough to cover the ground, but there's a lot of it here. Well, Alice 2035 has got that parked for the winter. Parked that this fall. Oh, I see one little problem we got. We're dripping a little bit of antifreeze out of the radiator, so we're going to have to address that at some point. It wasn't leaking water. We had it running just water this summer. And we thought we had all the leaks fixed, but apparently not. Snow here. A little trail just to get there. We would get the little Alice H3 out, dozer, but that ain't starting very good and we're not sure why. I'll have to look at that a little bit later too. Sometimes it doesn't like to start good. We think it needs a head job, but anyway, back to this point of this video is Alice 612. So what the goal is, what I want to do is take this whole transmission, this is actually the transmission in here belt pulley transmission, the differential and whatever, final drives are here. I want to take this whole assembly basically from leave this cast in here, separate it here, take this whole chunk, this assembly, you know, the final drive on the there to look on that side, you know, this whole assembly, take that off and bring that back to North Dakota with me. Um, and take it apart there and, and go through it and rebuild it over the winter. Got a friend out there with a the heated shop. Gonna spend some time with him and work on his projects and work on my projects and kind of help each other out. So the game plan here, as we know it as of right now, it might change, but what we know we need to do in order to get that assembly out, we need to first, well, either block it up or chain hoist it up to the loft or whatever we'll figure that out maybe we'll get the front end loader back here and use that one way or another we gotta lift up the tractor the both drive wheels need to be removed uh, but before we can do that we've got these little uh, the pinion drives here right uh, drive on these segment gears so at least one of these segment gears has to be removed in order for the wheel to be able to come off. Um, once the wheels are off, obviously there's nothing to hold the tractor up. So what we'll probably do is pretty much probably set the tractor down on the ground, maybe put it on some big timbers or blocks or something. Um, then at that point, I'm not sure yet if if we'll take apart the main pivot point here from the main housing. Let's 
sidetrack squirrel looking at band there. Um, if we'll take apart this to facilitate getting this off easier, because it's it, it. I think I'm not sure if it'll come off with that in place or not. At the very least, if we pivoted it, it should clear. It should be able to get it out of there. Uh, but we'll decide that as we kind of get into it here a little bit more. Uh, so we'll either pivot it or take it apart there to ultimately it's all going to have to come apart eventually anyway I'm going to completely restore this tractor um, so then too at that point we'll probably start like we've been saying chunk it up take the sulky off the rear end um, you know just start breaking it down into big pieces and then you know break it down farther from there but I wanted to kind of give you just a walk around of what we were starting with here. Sorry for my breath in the video. It's a little chilly here. It's, I don't know, probably mid 20s maybe. Um, all these, or at least some of these linkages will have to get taken apart at this point. Um, I'm thinking probably this joint, I don't know if you can see that in there, this joint here probably take apart for now and then this should come apart and then the rest of this could stay potentially intact for now we'll decide that it might be easier to maybe take it apart here though easier to get at I don't know this is one of those you figure it out as you go type of projects because there is no instruction manual there is no service manual the best you got to work with is a parts manual and that just shows you what the parts kind of are. It doesn't really help you much at all about as far as rebuilding anything. Um, so yeah, a little. There's the. I guess I could show you some of the parts here. That's the down there in the box. That is the bottom of the oil pan. So that would mount here, and then your whole engine. So that goes up against that flange and your whole engine mounts on top of that basically that is your clutch oh, over there your clutch assembly and flywheel that's gonna obviously all have to be rebuilt as well and there's a couple other guys with Alice 612s that are anxious to see what that's all about because they're going to have to do some work on theirs as well I guess and I don't really know what's all in there I believe there's either two or three friction discs and a couple of plates and then reading the service manual from what I understand to adjust your clutch you have these two bolts that you loosen and then this whole thing you can twist to adjust your, basically adjust your play in, in, in all your uh, discs and whatnot. And then you tighten your bolts back up when you have it adjusted where you want it to. And then I suppose when you're out of adjustment, then you gotta take it apart and rebuild it. But I haven't torn into that, I don't really know. I'll let you all know <laughs> when we get that far. Um, as long as we're kind of going over things here, the, one thing I know we need you're going to have to get fixed is this casting piece that's uh, broken. We have the other piece, the, piece, the throttle quadrant uh, gear that this ratchet mechanism works on is goes there, but the casting is broken. So we'll have to get that off and bring that to somebody that can properly fix casting for us. I'm thinking I'm probably going to bring it down to that, uh, what's it called, Mid Midwest cylinder head. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about them. I'll probably at least check into that. It'll be my first option to check it out and see if they can fix it. Because um, it's one of those one-off parts and obviously I don't want to bring it to just anybody that, you know, might not turn out right. I, you know, this is Got to be done right. It's a very rare tractor. There's only 30 some of these tractors known to exist. 
So I really want to make sure that this restoration is done right. It's going to take a while. I'm going to tell you all that right now. This isn't going to be a, it'll be done next summer type of project. This is going to be a long-term project, at least a couple of years for sure. Um, I know Dave Harrington wanted to know this. It's a dash five, Dave. Uh, I guess you can roughly, you know, I emphasize roughly, date the tractors based on that if you don't have the serial numbers and whatnot. Because um, like many aspects of tractors, like the 2035 has block number that you can roughly base them on, base the age of the tractor on the casting number if, say, you don't have your serial number tag. But I do, fortunately, have my serial number tag. 10,519 is the tractor number. I'm fortunate to have that. But I don't believe there is any definitive uh, serial number lists, year-wise breaks for what serial numbers were produced, what years. You know, there is some, you know, reference, Alice reference books with, with information. And as far as I know, this is a 1920 tractor. But I think there's a little bit of, uh, you know, room for debate with that stuff because I don't know for sure what kind of information is out there. So that's a little kind of toolbox there. That door is going to need to be probably remade. I don't know if there's, it's pretty, pretty rough shape. I don't know if we'll be able to straighten that out and fix it or not. The other covers at home, we'll have to I'll show you. Either, I don't know if I'll make a video of the engine parts or if I'll just show you some pictures, but um, I suppose we could go up in the loft and I can show you there's some more parts up in the loft. The loft isn't done yet. <laughs> All a work in progress. If we go over here. And here is, uh, that's a parts magneto for this tractor. Here is the whole front, well, what do you want to call it? Front cover, and so this is the front of your engine, your, your front of your crank, where your hand crank goes through here. And, uh, there should be a pulley down there that drives, this is your fan hub for your radiator, your fan blade to go on there. Um, Oh, we do have to look if I have that bottom pulley. Just thinking about that here this morning. I don't remember seeing that in my pile of parts. Hopefully I'm not missing that. Oh, uh, well. This is the steering wheel, and there's your exhaust manifold, and there's the intake manifold. Um, there is the hoods. Get over there. Get you a little better view here, as long as I'm at it. Bunch of junk in the way. Oh, I'll turn out the fall. So this is the remade. So somebody, when I got this tractor, somebody had started restoring it and then gave up or quit or whatever. So that's the original hood on the bottom, which isn't in too horrible a shape, actually. And then this is one that they had remade. Um, so I still got to decide. I'll probably use the remake, but part of me likes to use the original parts wherever possible. Um, there's another crankshaft. So I have at least two crankshafts to work with. This came with extra parts, um, engine parts wise. Um, there's like somebody had, had taken apart uh, another parts engine because these, these Leroy engines were used in other applications besides, besides Alice 612s. So finding parts for the engines themselves isn't too terribly hard. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's not horrible. There is, I can hardly get over there, but there is the cylinder head for the tractor. And that has been cleaned up already by the previous people. And I may have lied to you. 
No, that, that is the steering wheel. This is the steering wheel for 2035 and steering shaft. The steering shaft, oh, it's a 612. What a professional video, right? Oh, moving all this junk out of the way. The steering shaft for the 612 is here. It's got the ball on the end of it there that goes on to the steering box, which Norm Meinart is reproducing for me. I'm very thankful for him about that. I don't know what I would do if he wasn't willing to help me with that. Well, I actually got to touch base with him again on that here. Um, last I heard, he had the box all apart and cleaned up and he was waiting to hear back from the foundry on recasting parts um so at least there's progress being made which is good because i'm not in a huge hurry um let's get back over to the other side here again and open up this box and look through it there's a few more parts in here okay so I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see a lot of this it's kind of dark in the barn here but there is looks like some of the, the fiber discs for the clutch or spare ones I think is what those are I don't know if they're any good or not literally how we got this tractor was boxes of parts literally a basket case so there's some stuff in here you know grease cups some of the stuff I don't even know like that I don't know if that even goes to this tractor or not it might not even be for this tractor but nothing like that I don't know looks like a tailgate hinge is what it looks like not sure if that even goes to the tractor. Some of the stuff might just be random bits and pieces. And stuff that might not even go to this tractor. But Okay, so a lot of it is though for sure. Like this is your oil... i got to make sure I say this right. Oil gauge. I always want to say oil pump. This is not the pump. Um... This is the, the gauge. There's a float inside of inside of here, and then that cork, there's oil in there, and then that cork float goes up and down with this rod. To So if you're down like that, that means you're way low on oil. And if it's up, you know, you got oil in your engine. It's kind of a neat design. Um, there's intake too, though. To, Unless, maybe, is there a pump in there too? I think the pump is a, a different piece, I think. I could be wrong. I'm still learning a lot with these. So I'll probably look back at this video in a few months and go, Oh, you got all kinds of information wrong. What are you talking about, Jacob? But that's part of the process is learning. There is the gas sediment bowl. That's the equivalent of your glass fuel bowls in a modern tractor. That's what this is. So this goes into the main casting, and then it comes out here, goes to your carburetor, shut off, and sediment trap, dump all the crap out the bottom. Oh good, there's the pulley, so I do have that, okay, good. So that goes you know, down inside of that casting, yeah, probably that way actually, on the front of the crank. Um, we have spark plug, um, the wooden, little wooden holder that goes to a clip to actually hold the spark plug wire in place, like a little, and I believe that's original or original-ish. Um, fan blade, that goes on there, that's already been repainted. Well, there's actually some writing on the fan blade. 
I don't know if I'll be able to try to read what it says here. I won't be able to pick it up on camera, but I'll have to work on that later. I can't quite make out what it says, but there is writing on that. Interesting. Okay, so here's that broken casting I was talking about. So that goes, remember on that thing, that goes there. And the steering shaft actually goes through it, and then your throttle control ratchets on that, and that's where it's broken. So that's got to get fixed. Now we got, there's the magneto that actually goes with this tractor. I'll have to get that down to my egg man, Matt Scott. Shout out to Matt. He's always been good to me. Um, rebuilding mags. If you ever have mag stuff, look up Matt Scott in Jordan, Minnesota. Uh, he rebuilds mags and works on tractors and all that kind of fun stuff sells NOS parts and Alice parts and it's not a plug for him I'm not getting sponsored or nothing but I just give a shout out to him so this is the mag that came with it um, to get that down to him at some point I have to see if I have all of the controls for the advance and retard there's a little like sheet metal oh what do you want to call it control arm that I don't know if I have or not. It goes like on the side here, there's like a little lever to advance and retard your 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 mag for starting. Um we have a spring, what is that for now? Is that part of the clutch maybe? I'm not even hundred percent sure what that is to be honest with you. Um, this is some more clutch stuff here. Uh, there's a disc. There's one of these at home too. And then there's your, your, what you call it, your throwout, I guess. Okay, some clutch parts there. There's two hand cranks. And they're different. I'm not even sure what the difference is. If they were different over different years. different you can see the size and everything and then we got two different these are the governor assemblies um, I'm guessing this is a parts one from that other parts machine engine because it doesn't have the appropriate it should have that kind of pulley on it to run out the flat belt on the on the front of the tractor here. Um, so I'm guessing this is the original Alice one and this was one they probably picked up for parts. So hopefully between the two there's enough good stuff to make one good one. Um, I think it's about all I have to show you at this point. I'll have to pack all this parts back away here but I'll turn the camera off for that. Um, I'll try to keep documenting as we take things apart down there and, and uh, let you know how it works. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Thanks for watching.